I have two days to use the rest of you. Tomato sauce and cheese, elite combination. Thanks Italians. So usually people bake lasagna. As a matter of fact, I didn't know you could use this method until a couple days ago. Definitely could not waste that passata. So I had to find out what else I could do with it. Can you truly brown mince without browning our soy sauce? It looks kind of great to me. Well, at least it's not pink. After opening, store in fridge. Use within two days. All right, now say a word. To make the baked version of lasagna, you're gonna need one pot to boil the pasta in, one pot for the meat sauce, and the baking dish. And yeah, that sounds like a lot of washing up. To break or not to break your long pasta. Lasagna is one of my deserted island foods. If you know, you know. After 20 minutes, add in the white cheese that you chose. Whether it was cottage cheese, ricotta, or cream cheese, like I added here. Stir to incorporate the cheese. So this might not present as well as the baked version. It's going to present well in my belly for sure though. After that, you're going to layer the mozzarella on top. Mozzarella. Then set it aside for about 5 minutes or until the cheese has melted. While the mozzarella is doing its thing, I'm going to make some garlic bread. Melt about a third of a cup of margarine or butter. Add garlic powder to taste, as well as the Italian herb mixture. Toss the bread in the seasoned butter or margarine. You might need to add some more. Parmesan cheese optional. Place the pieces of bread on a baking sheet lined with foil or parchment paper. More Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Mamma mia. Oh boy. All I did was stir and the pasta layered itself. 